Hello everyone, Mr. Dino023 here, and uh, today we're gonna bring in more news about the speedrunning community. But before we go ahead and start with the news, I want to thank you all for your support, for your continued support with the channel. There's honestly probably very, very amazing opportunities that are gonna be coming up in the future. Uh, thanks to your support, your feedback, and well, just your love shown for this video series as well as any other things in the channel like um, uh, i don't think i can say anything about it yet because it's still like on the talks you know but it's pretty pretty amazing uh, and also i really really appreciate the people that reach out to me with potential news to cover and all that like honestly 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 i really really appreciate it with that being said if you want to support the channel if you like the content or anything like that and what i do i want to know more about speedrunning Make sure to always go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. As well as if you want to see me live, I stream every Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. Central on twitch.tv slash MrDino023. Alright, so let's go ahead and proceed with the news. So GDQ submissions are going to be reopening pretty soon. They're going to be reopened from November the 13th to November the 20th. Uh, these are not reopening for all the games. This is only reopening for games that were released after August the 1st that might have potential to be very popular and there's already saved spots on the GDQ schedule for these types of games. If you want me to make like a potential guess on which games might make it into this list, I I'm gonna say probably these four, maybe there's more that I'm missing out. Uh, if you think there's any more games, let me know in the comments down below. But I think these are very, very good potential games to make it out on this list which is going to be Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, Zelda the, the Link's Awakening for Switch, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Untitled Goose Game. Now, for Luigi's Mansion, I am not completely sure because so far the run seems to be over 3 hours long. I'm pretty sure that after GDQ or around the time of GDQ, maybe the time is going to be even already under 3 hours, or maybe there's major stuff discovered that are going to make the game like a small and small, but due to how soon the release of Luigi's Mansion is compared to the reopening of these submissions. I'm not 100% sure about we're gonna be seeing that game on this GDQ, but I think the other three games have a very, very, very big potential to make it into GDQ, especially Ukulele and Zelda Link's Awakening. Alright, so moving on with more marathon news. Completed Fall 2019 was already, uh, it's over. It's completed. If you want to check out the BODs, go ahead and check out the Completed Dawn's channel. But Slow at the Demon and his team are already preparing the next upcoming marathon for their team, which is going to be called No Holidays Allowed. And yes, this is going to be uh, taking place very, very soon to holiday season in December. I think it's going to be December the 11th to December the 15th. If you want to make submissions, make sure you do them very, very soon. I'm going to be leaving the links down in the description below because submissions are gonna be over on November the 20th. So November the 20th is the last day that you can submit for this online event. And again, as I've mentioned over in the last videos, I think Slow at the Demons Marathons are very, very well organized. And I think it's very good to participate on them. Every submission it's allowed for this marathon. Uh, bingos, randomizers, races, uh, Kisanities, you name it. You can submit everything that you think might be a good fit for a marathon. Again, uh, as long as they're small runs as of 15 minutes, up the way up until 10 hours per run. Everything is allowed on this marathon. Um, more news about marathons. Uh, Best of NES is going to be coming up this weekend. It's going to be taking place from November the 8th all the way to November the 10th. So it's going to be this weekend. And Best of NES, for those of you that don't know, it's a yearly event in which a lot of runners that are very very top level for the NES like maybe world record holders or like top five times um gather in this just NES lovers marathon of three days it's an online marathon but you're gonna be able to see names such as Andy, Apollo, Bad Break, Slack Attack among others and make sure you you're gonna be seeing a lot of the classics like Zelda, uh, Dragon Warrior, uh, Super Mario Brothers 1 and uh, you name it like this marathon, it's a gathering and a love letter to the retro community and the NES. 
and if you enjoy these types of runs or you've been wondering where you can uh, look at more retro gaming experience this is the marathon for you this is definitely the marathon for you so i highly recommend you check it out it's on twitch.tv slash best of nes and again as everything we mentioned here we're gonna be leaving links in the description down below in case you want to check out anything that we covered on the news a little bit more information about marathons it's gg speedruns uh their tournaments are over we had an amazing 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 grand finals uh yesterday i mean not yesterday by the time of the upload it's gonna be on saturday for the castlevania event in which hyrexen freeland and tuzneck uh, competed neck to neck to be the first place on the very first Castlevania tournament for GG speedruns. In fact, let's go ahead and check out this clip of the grand finals. And that by itself can be the difference too. So we're on to Dracula once again. Two seconds between these two players. Who can get the two cycle or who can get the three cycle? Freeland can do the two cycle ops for the three. Neither get it. I swear they're they're it's the exact same thing. They literally have the same pattern and are responding accordingly. Two snack did get an extra early hit, and no, Freeland misses a double. Two snack now is a little bit of a head, and he has the extra heart to be able to pull the fast kill. It's just down to execution. Three, two, one health left, Tooseneck. Wow, congratulations to Tooseneck. He takes it all in the end, but that is a... All right, yeah, that's how close these matches were. If you want to check out more matches about GG speedruns and their tournaments, make sure to check out their YouTube channel, GG speedruns. And uh, there's, there's news for the future of GG speedruns. There's going to be more tournaments upcoming that we can already uh, share with you guys uh submissions i mean uh signups are gonna be open very very soon uh tournaments are gonna be taking place until after gdq because of the holiday season but there's gonna be these tournaments coming up next and potentially more events but so far they have announced super mario brothers 1 super mario brothers 2 super mario brothers 3 and an eagle island entry level tournament as well as potentially in the pipeline there is castlevania 2 randomizer among some other events like a marathon on the holiday season and other type of speedrunning focused events that are not either tournaments or they're not uh marathons per se but other type of competition that we're gonna be able to share the details very very soon with you guys also gg speedruns is looking for your runs yes uh gg speedruns is gonna be trying to host a 24 7 channel uh with speedruns like pretty much all day long so if you want, if you have any run that you would like to be showcased in GG Speedruns channel, make sure to join their Discord and share your run. Uh, these runs, of course, are gonna be giving credit to every single runner. The idea is to make sure to have, like, to try to have a hub of 24/7 speedrunning content in which many, many, many types of runs could be showcased. So again, if you're interested in your run being showcased in the GG Speedruns channel make sure to join the gg speedruns discord for more information all right so about a uh, competitive scene or maybe more like esports type of things for speedrunning let's take a look at the gsa leagues that are gonna be coming to an end like very 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 soon like as soon as like this week like most of the of the leagues are already on their very very final stage so let's talk about a little bit uh, i mean let's talk about them a little bit so first off uh we're gonna be having the super mario maker semi-finals they should have already happened or they are taking place as the record of this video uh it's gonna be little curbs versus oshikorosu in the semi-finals upper bracket and in the uh, lower bracket it's gonna be slate versus the Beast. Uh, these matches are going to be showcased on November the 2nd. So again, at the time of the recording, they are happening or they already happened. So we're going to be updating the results about this on next week's video. But yeah, they, they happen on November the 2nd, on Saturday, November the 2nd. And the grand finals are going to be taking place this coming weekend on Saturday. Um, there's uh, Super Mario 64 Division 2 grand finals. We're going to be having Blue Bob and JJSRL uh, competing for the first place. And the bronze match is going to be Pete 
versus Drogi SR. These are going to be taking place on November the 7th, as well as the Grand Finals for Super Mario 64 Division 1, in which we have in the Grand Finals Punkation versus D whatever, and competing for the third place is going to be Paracusia versus Benji 64. More Grand Finals activity is going to be happening for Super Mario Odyssey. This is going to be happening on November 4th, the time of the upload of this video. So yeah, if you're watching this on the morning, make sure to check GSA Global Speedruns Association this afternoon on Monday because there's gonna be the grand finals between Tarn and Mitch SMO. Uh, for the third place, we're gonna be having Estravos 96 versus Cal Springle competing again for the bronze match. And last but not least, the Celeste Grand Finals, we're gonna be having Tish versus Black Pair competing for the first place and Shy Kitty versus aurora dash competing for the bronze match or the third place and the celeste grand finals are gonna be taking place on november the 7th so there you got it guys these are the news that we have for this week as always uh if you have any news that you think would be worth covering on this uh speedruns news network episodes make sure to hit me on twitter uh comment section on the youtube or join my very own personal discord all those links are gonna be listed down in the bottom and once again thank you so much for your support i hope you enjoyed these episodes of speed runs news network and as always i'll see you on the next mission have a good one guys